Join us this week as we visit what might just be our favorite anchorage in the Sea of Cortez. From sea cave snorkeling to white sandy beaches, we only wish we stayed a little longer. I'm Kate, and this is my husband Mick, our kids, Thomas, and Bentley. Five years ago, we had this crazy idea to travel the world with our kids, and never did we imagine our mode of transportation would be a sailboat. These are my parents. It's been their lifelong dream to sail across oceans. And so together, a dream was born. Come along with us as we learn, laugh, I play with, I play with boats. And explore. And hey, don't forget to hit subscribe. Well, we've come a long way, both in miles and in our learning. We've got our full main up today, and the jib's up, makes just about to put the stay sail up. Actually, we're kind of on a beam reach today, but it might, I think it'll swing around and we'll be more sailing upwind. Sailing oh. upwind is easy now, isn't it? Are you filming? That's so cool. Yeah, it is. It's good fun. We were so stressed out about it in the beginning. We go fast. We do go fast. Up we wind. need wind, like a good amount, but when we do, it just settles in and it just chugs along. I remember you saying that we weren't really set up for upwind sailing, but... We're not, uh, not set up for light upwind sailing. Ah. That's where this... This is that's the only weak point of this boat, but that's more to do with the sails we have on board. Anyway, it's good. Mick even managed to sail all by himself. Did you go nearly 200 nautical miles by yourself? I think so. Upwind, downwind, everything. Everything. Upwind, downwind, everything, he says. But it's good. The Sea of Cortez is sweet so far. We've kind of just been popping around all these islands. And steering a boat and filming is actually really challenging. And saying things because I'm like trying to think about what I'm saying. Anyway. I think the next really big stop we're excited for is the Bay of LA. We're really hoping there might be some whale sharks. And now we will go catch up with some kid boats and have some kid time. Where exactly are we taking you this week? We are headed to Isla Carmen to an anchorage officially named El Refugio, but aptly nicknamed V Cove due to its distinct V shape. We're hoping to meet up with a bunch of kid boats, but before we do that, we need to stop off at Loretto for another quick grocery stop. For those northerlies that were forecast, we have southerlies and they're just blowing us nicely back to Loretto. So Mick took the time to set up the pole and I was busy doing schoolwork with the kids so we didn't film it, but we are wing on wing. Yeah, we have the full main up with just our Yankee sailing down when we struggled in the past with having it fully up. Uh, we always found that it balanced the boat with a reef or two in it, and maybe it still will, but I think a huge difference, the seas are very calm. We're barely moving at all. I was down, I was down below early and it felt like we were anchored, yet we were doing five knots sailing downwind. Very much enjoying this. It's forever changing, especially through here. Just the way the mountains are and the heat, the wind is constantly changing, but today, this has been the most consistent winds we've had for a while. It's really nice. It's 
Sounds like we're sailing off anchor. Is yeah. that correct? Rushing into it. So we had a little overnight stop in Loretto. We got a couple more groceries. <laughs> now we're set for a couple of weeks. It's gonna be a while before we see another grocery store and there was a great grocery store here. So we made sure to stock up and we're set now for the next couple weeks. We're sailing. Okay, I gotta get the anchor up. Let me know when you see 50 and I'll run down and clear the chain. I'm just trying to get us to turn that way to get away from the shore. This way, deep. That way, shallow. Good morning, good morning. How are you? You slept in. You're I'm sailing. I just read in. Oh, you read in. That's a good thing to do. It's a Saturday morning for you. No school today. Yay. Gonna tighten that sheet in a bit on this side. There, it's going up. Digging into waves. I just pulled out a little anemometer. I'm getting better at saying that. As gusts up to 20, it's sustained just under that. We're going to tack in soon. There's a big point that comes out of here that I want to stay away from. Once we're past that, we'll tack in. And but the sea state should calm down. We immediately fell in love with the jaw-dropping beauty of V Cove, and we couldn't wait to explore the caves carved out of the enormous cliffs surrounding us. We hopped in the dinghy to check out the best caves for snorkeling. Look at the color, you guys. It's sand bottom. Pretty wicked, hey? It's just everything growing on the walls. It almost feels like no plan. What do you think about all these caves, you guys? It's pretty wicked. Yeah, but that's... Did the 
beach. Yeah, let's hit the beach. Funny. Wish that I could stay. Wish for this moment to never go away. But it's all in my mind. And though I know that there is nothing to find. You're a beautiful sight. And then it was time to explore this amazing underwater world in this small but mighty cove. One of the coolest parts of this cove were the massive bait balls that moved around the boats like a big dark shadow. Thanks Vico for sharing your magic with us and thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe. <laughs>